Hey, 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 official Jenny TV here. How are you and thank you so much for tuning in. Actually, I'm missing something. Hey, 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 official Jenny TV here. How are you and thank you so much for tuning in. I love this mic, but it's nothing better than this video today. It was judges' houses this weekend. It was electric. Saturday and Sunday, we were treated to some great music and some great, great talent. I love, love, love the judges' houses because they are one step away from the live shows and they give it their everything. So this week's review is a little bit different. I've picked my top two from each category that got through to the live shows that really impressed me. So I've picked two from the groups, two from the overs, two from the girls and two from the boys. I thought everyone did really, really well. Did your favourites get through? Some of mine, yes lads, well they got the no lads, they're not through. And there's some really, really great singers that didn't get through. Another one of mine, Tom and Laura, I fell in love with them. For some reason, they just didn't get through. I don't know what was happening. And also, guess who is back on our screens? Robbie Williams, with the lo lovely Sharon Osbourne at our house. I love judges' houses, because you get to see some beautiful scenes and some beautiful music. So, we know who's at the live shows. Did you agree? Are you happy? And how excited are you for the live shows? I cannot wait. I'm going to put this mic down because it makes me turn into Dermot O'Leary, and that's not a good thing. Or for some of you, it's a great thing. So, did you like this week's Etta? I absolutely love it. So, this is my review. I hope you guys like it. Remember, I'm doing these reviews all the way up to the live final. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Because we are going to have a lot of fun, believe me. I love the live shows. It's explosive. It's, it's just everything you want in a show. So let's get Judges Houses out of the way. And next week we are at the live shows. So I'm going to start with The Real Honey. The Honey G, the best rapper in town on our scenes at the moment. I'm actually scared of saying that because some people think she shouldn't be on the show and some people think she should. I absolutely love her. Honey G is the real deal. Doing it for the people, doing it for the rap scene. Let's go. I say honey, you say... Let's leave it there. This she is the real deal. It's Honey G. I love what she's wearing. I love some sunglasses. Listen to this, she took it to the next level. I don't know, do you think she should be on the show? Do you think she shouldn't? Let me know in the comment box below, I'd love to hear from you. But I think she took this song and absolutely smashed it. Bobby Williams is loving it. Sharon, I think, absolutely fell in love with that. She said the x Fab is all about the entertainment. It's about the entertainment and the talent. She just brings both. And where you're walking, or you and your homies might be lined in chalk. I'm the kind of dude yes, that homies want to be like on my knees in the night, laying stairs in the street. Like I love her, I love what she stands for. She's inspiring, she's passionate, and I think the X Factor needed something. And to have her um, at the Avers on Sharon's, I think it's just great. So, yeah, that was Honey G. When I say honey, you say. Honey G's doing, I think the live shows is going to be electric for her. I cannot wait to see Honey G. Congratulations for getting to the live shows. Next up who went through is Sala. I love her name. I love her voice. She's from Finland. She's on the UK X Factor. This is how you do a judge's house's performance. Love what she's wearing. Love all the bling. And I think Sharon just really warmed to her straight away. Destiny. She really, really showed up her vocals. On this one, I thought she'd done a brilliant performance. Took an old classic and made it her own. Well done, Sala. It's Sala. That judge's house is Sharon's house is absolutely beautiful. I love the scenery, I love the voice. Robin Williams just like... 
the winner takes it all, she takes it all, she's off to the live shows, I can't wait to see what Sharon her get up to, will it be explosive, will it be good, we'll just have to wait and see for next weekend. But that right, next up, let's move on to the groups, I think the group category this year is amazing, they have Louis Walsh, I think the category is really, really strong, and I've picked my top two who's going to the live shows. Let's start with 5am. These three lads really, really bought it to our judges' houses. They've got the looks, they've got the move, they've got the voice, and apparently the groups have changed their names. Love this bit. Alicia Dixon, loving it. Great judge to have on judges' show. Flourished. Wow. Love that image. Love the set, love the voice, everything about them. For me, when I first saw them, I thought an average band, they're okay, it's a, a three piece, but now they just really, really bought for me and really stood out why they should be at the live shows. They got to the live shows. Congratulations to them. Was it the right song? I'm not sure, but they got me moving when I was listening. So, it was electric, so congratulations to them. The next up, it's the Brooks. The Bullocks. They got through. They've been here before, but they really, really bought it this time. I don't know if they copied me or I copied them on the hats, but they're rocking the hats, and I love the image. I love the colours. And together, they're just they're fantastic. I don't know which one's better. I don't think one of them is better than the other. They just fit together. They both got talent and I really, really agree with Louis Walsh. It's not often that you agree with Louis Walsh, but on this one you just have to. Yeah, they really took it, showing off their vocals there. They're not really dancing, they just really concentrate on this performance because one step to the live shows where everyone wants to be and they got there and I thought they really, really deserved it. Moving on to the girls with their judge, Simon Cow. I think the, group, the girls are absolutely amazing. Right, this is Emily and for me, this was the best performance Hello, of the Emily. weekend. I love you know this song and I love her. Yeah. It's song about a girl and a guitar, it just, this time. it works for me. But I really thought she really gave everything at Judges Houses. Simon Cow smiling, I'm smiling. I think she's a really, really fan pleaser and a lot of people after this are going to be supporting her. She's got a really gentle, raw, unique voice that I absolutely love about her. She's showing loads of depth in her voice, loads of passion, loads of light determination that she wants this and she absolutely got it and I think she's my new favourite. Absolutely brilliant. Like I said, I love the song, I love her voice. And I really, really see why Simon Cowan put her through. I think at the live show, she's going to be really one to watch. Congratulations to Emily. I cannot wait for Saturday night to see her on the big stage. Next up, we got Gifty. She quite surprised me that Simon Cowan put her through. She's been here before. I think she's really oh, wanted this time. And she just bought it to Judges' Houses. And uh, if you bring her to Judges' Houses, you get it. She's got the figure. Luck, she's got the looks. And her voice doesn't need improvements in some places. That's just my opinion. But I think she's improving every time. And that's what you need in the next factor. They're being thrown in the deep end and she's really, really dealing with it. She makes you smile and makes you move, so I guess that's what you want. Um, Simon Cow wants in his arm. Um, you know. She really, really bored. Does Simon Cow fancy it? I'm not sure. Let's make your own mind up on that. But um, she's through and um, I'm quite excited to see what they're going to do with her because uh, she's not one of my favourites, I have to admit, but who knows, on live shows she might surprise me, she might be one of my new favourites, but um, I think that's a solid uh, the judges house's performance, and she really bought it. Right, finally we have the boys, which I think Shirzy had a really, really high job. Now, the first one up is um, 
Freddy and I absolutely love him and he sang Ellie Golden. Two shirts, C and Calvin Harris. Listen, love me like you do by Ellie Golden. Okay. Let's do it. Thank you very I much. love when they take a song and make it their own and he really, really done that. Cause I've never love been is top so Follow me. Got top knot jealousy there, definitely. Take you past our side Here we go. You can see the world you he really sang every word and really I believed everything he was singing. And he wants this, he's a nice lad. He looks great, the girls are gonna love him and he's got one hell of a voice. Look at that set behind him as well. Ellie Girl doing what we proud of the best, I'm proud of the best and I really, really loved him. And Shazzy putting through to the live shows, he's gonna be one. Boy Cut Free was so, so um, tough this year, but um, he really shone through for me. Brilliant, love the ending, he just, oh, he's just fantastic. What are you waiting for? Oh, what are you waiting for? Here we go, finally, it's Ryan, the wild card. I picked him because it really surprised me when Chappelle picked him to go through. I don't know what you think, do you like Ryan? He reminds me of a bit of the Vance, Rixton type of character. I don't know, that's just me. I've seen a lot of him, wild card, and I think he's through, but... Is there better boys that went home? I'm really, really not sure, but um, I think he's getting better and better and he's improving in this competition, so that's a really, really great thing. I got to be honest, I don't know the song, I was hearing it for the first time and I thought, yeah, he's got the X Factor. And he was really, really surprised that he went through what he was told, but good on him because he's really stuck at this, he's worked hard. To be going home then to be called back up by Simon Cow. If Simon Cow calls you back up, you know you're in for a, a good uh, day. So that's it, judges' houses are done. We have our final 12 who is going through to the live shows. Will there be a wild card? Who knows? It's the X fact that anything can happen. Honey G is through. Everyone go, whale. We have some really, really strong people in this live show. I think the girls are amazing. I think the Ove is amazing. Actually, I think they're all amazing. There's so many strong contestants this year. I really can't pick a winner. I have some favourites and also some of my favourites went home. Emily really surprised me and I have to admit 5am really, really surprised me. So them two, keep a look out for them because I think they're going to do really, really great in the live shows. I absolutely love Judges Houses. We got some special guests on the show. Robin Williams, a massive fan of him. Calvin Harris, I thought he'd done excellent. And I thought the judges, in the end, overall, picked the right people in some opinions and some people say no they didn't that's up to you i love to hear from you in the comment box below did your favorites go through or didn't they some of mine did some of mine didn't so overall i cannot wait for the live shows it is going to be big it is going to be bad and it is just going to be explosive you know what it is saturday night starts next week Bring back the music, the X Factor is on, live shows. Remember, I'm the room, the X Factor, all the way up to the live finals. So if you love music and if you love the X Factor, stay tuned. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm doing these reviews each week and I cannot wait to find our X Factor 2016 winner. Louisa Johnson last year, who will it be this year? I cannot wait. So I'm going to get off because I think we've had enough of the X Factor for one day, but I cannot wait, wait, wait for next week's first live show. What songs are they going to be singing and what are they going to be wearing, most importantly? I cannot wait. So I'm sure we'll see each other very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Till next time, YouTube gang, take care.